What a glorious thing to be, a healthy grown up, busy, busy bee, filing away the passing hour. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my workshop. This is the latest in the series on workshop tooling, and uh, you'll be glad to hear it. This is intended anyway to be a short one, um, and I shall be concentrating on the uh, cylindrical grinding accessory for the surface grinder. Anyway, over to the bench and uh, I'll quickly run through uh, the design principles and uh, and uh, we'll get on with mounting it on the surface grinder and chuck a bit of steel in see what happens. Hope you enjoy. Here we are over on the bench and those of you that watch uh, Stephen Gottes Winter's um, machining channel uh, will possibly recognize the general layout of the cylindrical grinding attachment. Um, I'll put a note in the introduction to uh, give a reference to his um, channel and you can pop over there after you've watched this one to see how it should be done. Anyway, the machine, or the tool I should say, is based on a hefty chunk of uh, 70 by 45 mil mild, bright mild steel with a T-slot milled in it, full length, upon which run these two um, holders. This one has a fixed cone centre in it, and it aligns with the cone in here. I don't know whether you can see it, it's not very bright. And this one is spring-loaded in here. And is uh, this pulley rides upon it. The dog engages in a, uh, although the drive pin, I should say, engages with a, a dog, which uh, in this case will be attached to this bit of rough old steel. Once I've in drilled it, and uh, I've lined the tool up on the surface grinder. And this is driven by uh, an ex-sewing machine motor actually uh, at a small ratio it revs pretty highly it's controlled with a foot throttle and gives uh, three speeds quite fast medium fast and by golly that's fast um, as you'll see later i always run it on the slower speed it, it rotates the uh, pulley in this direction so that the uh, piece of material which is being ground rotates contra to the spinning of the uh, grinding wheel which goes in this direction. Um, these supports are keyed into the top of the T-slot and carry um, T-nuts in the bottom to locate them. Like that. Anyway, enough chitty chatter. Over to the surface grinder. I'll set it up, dress the wheel, save a bit of time, and I'll also prepare this by uh, putting some ends in. Set it up on the uh, on the tool and see how we get on. Over here on the surface grinder I've set up the attachment on the magnetic uh, chuck. I've already done a test grind just to uh, prove that it works. Uh, I had intended to use a, a Jubilee clip to uh, form the drive to the log here but uh, that's the smallest Jubilee clip I've got and it's a bit over the top for this so I drilled in a, the uh, stock and just screwed a uh, set screw in there temporarily to provide the drive and um,
it's uh, very sensitive this foot switch which I'm operating with my hand ironically um, and uh, well I'll move it up a bit closer to the grinding wheel and we'll see how we get on um, here we go then um, I won't uh, speak while the operation is in progress because I doubt whether you'll be able to hear me above all the other noise but um, I've brought the stock up to very close to the grind wheel and I'll uh, turn the machine on now and take a, a grinding pass and see how we get on That's the first grind. Let's move this out and uh, not quite cleaned up on the initial part of the stock. So we go back in and take another another pass. This is uh, going to turn out on camera, but uh, you may or may not be able to see the sparks coming off as I traverse under the grind wheel and back. Still sparking. I'll just get a micrometer and uh, measure how square or otherwise the grind is. Just managed to gaunch the grinding wheel. I hope I haven't done too much damage. There we go. Start off at this end. Zero the display. Take another reading at this end of the grind. 
and uh, as you can see there is uh, this is in thousandths of an inch so it's 1.1 thou of um, taper uh, showing minus so the diameter here is uh, a fractionally over one thousandths greater than the diameter here and I can feel that the finish is not as smooth as it is on my initial trial run and uh, maybe another couple of runs down here will, will improve that surface finish uh, and it shows that I haven't quite got the, the tool spot on um, at, uh, perpendicular to the movement of the grinding wheel. But you get the idea. There we are then, that's the uh, end of that little demonstration of the cylindrical grinding attachment and it just goes to show with a little more concentration and uh, measuring uh, it could come up with some very accurate results. Uh, obviously uh, it can be used to grind a taper by using uh, a suitable um, known taper, for example a, a Morse taper, setting the uh, spindle up with the uh, DTI for example. Um, an accurate uh, taper can be ground. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, look forward to bringing you another workshop tooling video soon if I can find a suitable tool to describe to you. Anyway, if you have been, thanks for watching and I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.